Hey YouTubers, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell over by the subscriber button to notify you every single time I upload. Enjoy the video. Hey YouTubers, and welcome back to another Dragon Ball Super discussion video, guys. This is going to contain spoilers for episode 127 if you haven't seen it, but let's just get right into it. First of all, episode 127, I think, was a really awesome episode. Uh, definitely a really heavy Android 17 episode, and I will probably be talking about the reactions to exactly what happened to him and how that really is going to affect the ending of Dragon Ball Super and all of that in the upcoming days. Don't worry about that. I just wanted to talk just solely about Jiren's plan here. It'll only take a couple minutes. What was his plan? Uh, and like in all seriousness, he was going to literally murder 17 Goku and Vegeta, but not Frieza. Like, so automatically losing uh, because he broke the rules and Frieza winning the tournament. I mean, uh, maybe I missed something, but to me, it kind of felt like if 17 didn't jump in and actually put the barriers around Vegeta and Goku, then that blast would have just been enough to take out all three of them in their weakened state, and Jiren would have just been disqualified. I mean, he knows the rules. He obviously wants the wish or something. They took a lot of time in this episode to tell us what is going going on here and I have to just I don't know I liked what 17 did but I'm gonna have to call foul on that I really think that it makes no sense if you think about it logically he was literally throwing a a beam or a ball of energy so powerful that it was going to potentially kill Goku Vegeta in 17 and with Frieza having just made his presence clear I mean that would have been kind of more believable if he was going to make it end in the draw. He'd be like literally the last man standing. But Frieza just made it clear that he was back and he was willing to take out Jiren. Jiren easily takes him out really quickly and then proceeds to attack Goku, Vegeta, and 17 without really thinking about Frieza because 17 didn't protect Frieza. He was far enough away from the blast. So yeah, I, I don't really understand it. Uh, I, I feel like it was, if you look at it logically, it felt like it was them allowing 17 to have a really awesome moment, which, like I said, I liked. I really do like that. But if you guys can tell me in the comment section below what your thoughts on this are when it comes to Jiren's plan or what that ball of energy was actually supposed to do before 17 stepped in and sacrificed himself, then definitely share that in the comment section below because I'm sure I must be missing something here because it doesn't make a ton of sense to me. But with that being said, guys, I hope everyone's having a fantastic day. This is probably the third upload on my channel today, but I just wanted to get this out there. I hope everyone would like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video out to all your friends. Let's talk about this. Does this make sense? Let's figure out a reason for this in the community. Uh, don't forget to hit that bell over by the subscribe button to notify you every single time I upload. I hope everyone's having a fantastic day. It's been real.